Today we will start with the topic aquatic plants. Now those plants that live under water or on a surface is called the aquatic plant. So the plants that live under water or on the surface are called as aquatic plants. So how many types of plants are there? There are three broad categories of plants that live in water. Submerged, floating and immersion. Now what are the submerged plants? They grow under the surface of the water. Submerged means just under the surface of the water. Their roots are fixed to the bottom of the water and do not extend all the way to its surface. So the roots of the submerged plants are fixed to the bottom of the water like ferns, valisneria and eelgrass. Stems of these plants are spongy. Spongy means they are very soft and elastic which help them to float in water. They are very very light so they float in water. They have narrow leaves and no stomata. So the leaves are not so broad, they are narrow and they have what? The stomata, the openings. Now what are these stomata? These stomata are the openings and the leaves that helps them to breathe, that helps them to photosynthesize by the diffusion or the passage of the gases. Next is floating plants. Have roots that are not fixed to the bottom of the waterbed. What we have seen in the submerged plant that the roots are fixed to the bottom of the water. But in floating plants, the root not, not fixed to the bottom of the water. The entire plant including roots, leaves and flowers float on the water surface. For example, duckweeds and hyacinths. These plants have broad spongy leaves with stomata which help them to breathe. Emergent plants have roots fixed to the bottom of the water bed while their leaves and flowers float on the water. For example, water lily and lotus. So here, the roots are fixed to the bottom of the water bed. Below the water, the root is fixed and the leaves and the flowers float on the water. Example, water lily and lotus. Submerged plants, the most useful plants for aquatic animals as they provide them with both food and hiding places from their predators. Animals that live under the water get nutrients from these plants. Like submerged plants means they grow below the surface of the water, they grow underwater. So they are the most useful plants for the aquatic animals because they get their food also and also they can hide themselves from other animals. Animals that live under water will get their nutrients also from this type of plants. Prevention of diseases. So how to prevent the diseases? We have to keep our surroundings clean. We should make sure that there is no stagnant water in our flower pots and coolers since it is very important to check and control the breeding of mosquitoes. So as we have already seen before that mosquitoes breed on stagnant water. They lay their eggs on standing water. So we have to clear our flower pots and coolers. Adding kerosene oil to the water coolers checks their breeding. So we can add uh, kerosene in the water coolers. By using mosquito nets and repellents we can protect ourselves from mosquito bites. We can use mosquito nets. We can use repellents like good nights uh, all out like this to prevent mosquito to enter our homes. We should wear long sleeve clothes and avoid going to areas where there has been outbreak of such diseases. The whole body part should be covered by the long sleeve clothes. The hands and the full pants will cover the legs so that mosquito cannot bite. Quinine, a medicine made from cinchona plant, help in treating malaria. So if there is malaria, then it can be treated by the help of the medicine called quinine. So here we have studied about the uh, prevention of diseases. What type of diseases? The waterborne diseases like uh, you know, malaria which is caused by the mosquitoes. And as we have seen that the stagnant water is very important uh, breeding ground for the mosquitoes. So there should not be stagnant water in and around our houses. Prevention of diseases. So how to prevent the diseases? We have to keep our surroundings clean. We should make sure that there is no stagnant water in our flower pots and coolers since it is very important to check and control the breeding of mosquitoes. So as we have already seen before that mosquitoes breed on stagnant water. They lay their eggs on standing water. So we have to clear our flower pots and coolers.
adding kerosene oil to the water coolers checks their breeding so we can add uh, kerosene in the water coolers by using mosquito nets and repellents we can protect ourselves from mosquito bites we can use mosquito nets we can use repellents like good nights uh, all out like this to prevent mosquito to enter our homes we should wear long sleeve clothes and avoid going to areas where there has been outbreak of such diseases the whole body part should be covered by the long sleeve clothes the hands and the full pants will cover the legs so that mosquito cannot bite quinine a medicine made from cinchona plant help in treating malaria so if there is malaria then it can be treated by the help of the medicine called quinine so here we have studied about the uh, prevention of diseases what type of diseases the water borne diseases like uh, you know malaria which is caused by the mosquitoes and as we have seen that the stagnant water is very important uh, breeding ground for the mosquitoes so there should not be stagnant water in and around our houses